I'm gonna come clean and say that the contents of this video are of murky definition. I was just sitting at home and had a super original idea to make a video that has no purpose. So all month, I've had a notepad on me and I've been writing down every dumb thing that pops into my head. Not the smart things, the not smart things. I will not let any criticisms deter me. Let the video begin. I opened up the contacts app in my phone and I was like, wow, there are a lot of people that I don't know, so it's time for me to get rid of some. So I was scrolling through them and I stumbled upon the name of Jacob Acorn and then I crossed Ashley and I was like, whoa, I went to school with them. They died of an opioid overdose. Now they're dead. I can't call or text them ever again. Our chat histories felt cold. I could write to them, but they'd never see it. I miss them. Then I had this silly idea where humans traded places with dogs, the, so the dogs were the humans and the humans were dogs! <laughs> would the dogs make a America? Would they do things for fun? Or would they just be dogs? Would they sit and ruminate in their existence, panic, and then try to explain it through some magic and myths and stories? Would they organize those beliefs and turn them into political machines and control masses for thousands of years? Would they wage wars and kill each other over these beliefs and never consider looking to science for the answers, even when they reach the point when technology and information are readily available to almost everyone? Would they do that? Probably, because they are dumb, and dogs are dumb, and only dumb dogs would do that. Why are pianos scary? Why do scary movies like scary pianos? Why do ghosts not play other instruments in movies? Why do ghosts not play instruments in real life? Why are there no ghosts? It's probably because our perception of the universe is nothing more than just chemical reactions firing off in our brain to simulate awareness in our brains, and when we die, those chemicals evaporate into nothingness through decomposition and spirits don't exist anyway. They were just made up to help us quit panicking over the inevitability of death and eternal oblivion. Do you ever pop popcorn and eat the half-popped kernels and are like, yum? Then you are alone, because nobody eats those and they are gross. You are also alone because they are gross and nobody likes gross things except for you. You are also alone because when you die you are alone. I am edgy. The other day I went to the grocery store buying cilantro and I saw a girl who was working at the store and I tried to buy cilantro but the girl couldn't find the code. There are lots of people who don't like cilantro. That is sad. I like cilantro. A lot of people push off deadlines instead of gradually working on them throughout an extended period of time. Why worry for a week and a half when you can worry about something for only a few hours the day before it's due? There's something relaxing about that. I sometimes do that too. I have a big list of things and goals in life. I think I'm going to put them off until I'm an old man. Or I'm probably just going to die feeling unsatisfied with everything. That's probably how a lot of you are going to die. How many goals do you have? How far are you along completing them? Do you realistically think that you're going to complete them? The answer is no to a lot of these. You're going to die unremarkable. But that's okay because a lot of people will too. Sometimes birds hit my window and they fall to the ground dead and stuff. I would go outside and hold them and see if they were alive or dead. What if we did that to children in public places? I once time saw a little boy fall down in the park and another person ran over and picked him up just like I would do with the birds. Apparently a lady didn't like that because she was screaming and crying and chasing after him. Sometimes kids feel the need to tell me how old they are on comments and stuff. I think that's weird. Sometimes I like it though because they say cute things. I used to be a kid. I used to be 6 and 7. Now I am 19 years old. It is my birthday today, September 28th. One day I will be 29 and I will say I used to be 19. Then I'll be 49. Then I'll be 69. 
then I'll be 89. When I'm 89, I will say, I used to be so young and now life has slipped me by. I am never going to be those ages again. I am never going to be in high school again. I am never going to feel the bright optimism of my 20s again. I will never see my parents again. I am never going to do anything important for the first time ever again. All of that is behind me now and there is no going back. I can only march forward into death and darkness. There is no future for me and there is no alternative to this bleak existence. There is no way for me to avoid this. There is only time as it marches forward and I am stuck following it until nothing. Thank you for the watch! You can do the subscribe and like, or you cannot if you would like. There are infinite universes where you have already done those things, and there are probably a few where you literally died in the process. Look at all of the views below this video. Statistically speaking, at least one or two of those people are going to be dead in one week. Here is my Patreon because I need money and I am the poor. Otto Zaguala wants to rock with your grandma. Harry Phillips, who is using the paid shoutout for self-promotion, wants you to go listen to his awful cover of The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. There is a link in the description if you like garbage. Also, thank you to Daddy Cthulhu, Ollie A, Frankie Bluthgen, <laughs> Gabby Taylor, hmm, and Spencer Purcell. If you are going to comment, wow, you copied Jade Animation's video beat for beat and thought for thought, you are right, and I did not do any satire or anything, and this should be deleted, and I deserve hate comments. Thank you for being smarter than me. Goodbye.